Hi guys, Erin from Vixen Daily here. Today we're going to talk about whether you will get back together. So, will you get back together with your ex? This video is going to give you almost guaranteed signs that you can get your ex back. Obviously not 100%, but 99.9. .9. So, let's get right into it. So, you want to know whether it's possible to rekindle a past relationship or whether too many things have happened that have simply broken the bond and made things too messed up for it to ever go back to how it was. Maybe it's been too much time and you weren't sure if it's become stale or if he doesn't even like you that way anymore or whether it just isn't a possibility. Now, maybe things ended horribly and you think everything's damaged. It may be so, but it may not be. So I want to work this through with you and really take you through the biggest signs and also try to give you clarity on what to really, really look at when it comes to getting your ex back and the signs that point to you getting him back versus not. So, first of all, the reasons behind the breakup, you have to analyze how did it end and why did it end? What was the tipping thing that just pushed it over the edge and made it impossible? Was it cheating? Was it fighting too much? Was it persistent, just no sex? Was it what problem? What was the boom that kind of broke the camel's back? This is important because if things went too far, there is a point where it cannot be repaired. If you kill somebody, for example, not saying that's what happened, obviously, but if you murder someone, can't just take it back and say sorry. Same with things like cheating or just repeated cheating or something betrayal-based, something just horrible. And maybe if things did end badly, you are hoping that you want to, you know, fix things, but in reality, you can't. I'm not saying it's impossible, but the severity of what happened and the amount of times the bad things happen definitely plays a role. So a sign that points to you being able to get back with him is something such as the problems being logistical, so financial arguments or not respecting like one person wants the TV on and one doesn't want it off, not saying that would end a relationship, but if it's logistics like him being far away and being willing to now move nearer to you or things that aren't necessarily relationship breaking, then you have a more likely chance that you could get back together. So, next, the length of time you were together. How long were you together? A general rule of thumb is the longer you were together, the better chance you can rekindle things. Now, that's unless something insane happened. You can have a four-year marriage and then, boom, someone cheats, someone kills someone's dog. Again, hyperbolic, but I'm trying to demonstrate a point. The point is that something can, boom, snap and make it so that you just cannot repair the relationship. But normally, the longer time, longer investment, deeper emotional connection, meaning better chance. Next, whether both of you are single. So he could be in a rebound relationship just to drown his sorrows in another woman and distract himself. But if he's in a relationship right now, it's obviously less likely that you can get back together than if he was not. And are you single? I'm assuming you are, but maybe you're not. Maybe you're in a rebound or maybe you started dating someone else and now you're like, wait, I actually miss my ex. Whatever it is, if you're both single, it's more likely that you can get back together. Next, how you've acted post breakup. Okay, this is important. There are things you can do that will make it impossible and less likely that he'll ever want to get back together, such as needy, stalking esque texting. I'm not trying to insult you. I'm fully aware of why you do it, but the, oh my God, I miss you so much. I can't believe this. How could this happen? Oh my God, the paragraphs, the paragraphs, the paragraphs, the, the misery that you're just pouring out that you really shouldn't be directing toward him, if you're directing it to him, stop doing it now. What you should be doing is no contact. I explained that in another video and there are so many topics and things like that on Vix Daily that really goes into no contact. But for right now, I just want you to understand, just do no contact for a month and just breathe, let it be, let the emotions rest. So stop that behavior, no neediness, no you know, rambling long things. I get it and I get that you feel that way. Journal it, talk to your friends. Do something constructive because you're just killing the chances. So just leave it alone. So next, whether you were integrated in each other's lives. Now, do you know his family and his friends? Have you been introduced to people? Do you go to the same gym? Do you have something in common? Children, a workplace, etc. If you have something that ties you together, you actually have a much better chance of getting back together. Why? Because you have that base, the foundation, the, the opportunity. If you're long distance though, it's like how do you really have that spark reflamer? You know, when you see him 
and it's been a month and you know you're feeling like ooh I, you know he looks cute today and she looks cute today you guys will have that moment but if you have no opportunities or reasons to see each other no life integration then it's less likely whether you're able to forgive each other forgiveness is so important because you don't want to have an old relationship basically become an old bad relationship forgiveness is about starting fresh so basically dating again as if it's a new situation which it is your life circumstances are you both working jobs that require you to be far away if you live very far from each other this decreases the chances that, that you will get back together for example so you have to really think about the logistics if it's long distance it's much much harder not saying it can't work but maybe you can arrange more visits or something like that so I want to sum up what we've discussed and give you a kind of clear roadmap. So to sum up, the reason you broke up wasn't something that made you hate each other. You were together for a really long time. You broke up amicably rather than breaking each other's hearts in half. You're both single. You haven't been vindictive towards each other since the breakup and have not sent needy texts. You were integrated in each other's lives. You've both grown as people. That's another very important thing. And then you have forgiven each other. Your life circumstances make it easy to be in a relationship with each other. So this is really the central point. And you have to ask yourself, what does your gut tell you? Do you think that you'll get back together? Now, if all these signs are true for you, then everything is working in your favor that you can get back together. But the question is, will you? Well, if you want to get back together, then there's a comprehensive guide on exactly how to get your ex back. It's free and it covers everything you could possibly want to know. There's actually a link in the description to the full article on this topic. And once you're on the article, you can read much more to see exactly how to get your ex back with an easy, super simple guide right there on the site. And if you like this video, it would be awesome if you could give it a thumbs up. And for more love advice, check out BigCineli.com and the other videos on this channel. You can honestly have the love life that you really want and never have to be confused by men or relationships ever again. Thanks, guys. Bye.